I'm so frustrated by life sometimes. If you remember a video that I just posted about getting one month ahead, and I'll link it up in the eye in the sky so y'all can watch it. And in fact, if you haven't seen it, go watch that now and then come back to this video because this video will make a lot more sense. We, you know, did all our paperwork with our tax guy and, and the good news is we had saved $600 for the tax guy and it only cost us 450 so yay, that was a win. But the fail is so large that it overrides the win. Our tax bill, we owe $2,400. We owe $1,100 to federal and $1,300 to state. And let me explain to you why. Basically, what happened is last year in April, I realized that all of Mauricio's side hustles, Uber, Amazon Flex, uh, some contract work he was doing, none of those places were taking out taxes. When tax time came for 2015, in April 2016, we had a huge tax bill for multiple reasons, but it was ginormous. And it's actually one of our major debts. And as I've explained previously, I didn't actually have money withheld from Mauricio's check and we didn't save anything. And so in order to compensate for that, starting in April, we had money pulled out of every one of my paychecks and sent to taxes to kind of compensate for that. And I'm glad I did that, but obviously for federal, I didn't do enough and I forgot about state. So we had a lot withheld for me for state, but not enough. So, what does this mean? This means we have a $2,400 tax bill that we need to come up with. And you know, we're Dave Ramsey followers, so we have our $1,000 emergency fund and our sinking funds. Now, right at this moment, we have our sinking funds plus our emergency fund sit at $2,200. And we could probably cash flow the last 200 we could probably cash flow probably more than that out, you know, by making less payments to debt. Our other option is to go into our one month ahead. And truthfully, I don't know which one's worse. I'm so irritated by this whole lack of planning thing or not, not knowing better. I just, I'm not sure which one to do. Should we, I'm kind of leaning towards taking half, like taking $1,200 from our sinking funds and $1,200 from our one month ahead and kind of balancing that out so not one thing gets, you know, completely screwed up. But I can't really decide. I, I legit can't decide. So we considered Mauricio Ubering for the money for a month because he could conceivably earn, you know, $2,400 Ubering in a month and paying that. And so it wouldn't be an issue. But unfortunately, Mauricio has, in April, Mauricio is taking three classes. And so every free second he has, besides working his 40 hour a week job, is really tied up with schoolwork. So I'm not willing to sacrifice his school, neither is he. So maybe we can make it up, you know, once, once he's done with all these classes. But for right now, these are the two options that I have. Obviously, we are not going to go into debt to pay these bills, especially considering we have cash. So let me know what you think down in the comments section because I legit am not sure what to do. I, I just don't know which one is worse. Sinking funds, taking the money out of our sinking funds or taking the money from our, our one month ahead. Either way, it's gonna involve us saving extra money. So annoying, but I gotta say, it's a hugely awesome feeling that we actually have this money to make that choice with. So it could be way, way worse. It really could. So. 
So here is how our tax situation ended up. What I ended up doing is I pulled out $1,200 out of our sinking funds. And while that will probably mess us up for when we need those sinking funds, all of our sinking funds are what if expenses with the exception of Christmas. While we won't have those sinking fund expenses right now, um, we also won't have debt from paying taxes. So that leaves us $1,200 to cash flow. And I was able to cash flow in our April budget about 600 of those dollars. And so that leaves us with another $600 to come up with. And I find it hilarious that I just went and told you guys, and I was so proud of us being a month ahead. But yeah, I'm taking $600 out of next month's budget. Hopefully that won't cause a downward spiral where every month I will have to take $600 out of the following month. Hopefully we can recover from it over the next month or two, but that is how we're going to recover from this rather than just taking all of the money out um, of our next month's budget. This kind of spreads it across a couple of things. So we don't really feel the pain of a $2,400 tax bill. So it is what it is. And so that's how we dealt with it. So make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos so you can keep on watching and I will see you in the next one. See ya.